welcome to the Ethos HQ. I'm here with my colleagues and we are here to bring to you the new launches of Watches and Wonders. For your information, Watches and Wonders is a fair which happens every year where a lot of the brands are uh, showcasing their new launches and then we keep getting the launches over the year. So I'm here with Shivalika. Hi guys. Rishabh Hello. and Dhruv. Hi. So guys, we are seeing a lot of interesting trends coming up with the new launches. So let's start with what are your favorite trends in the current launch for this year? So uh, my favorite trends are the vibrant colors. I feel like there are so many beautiful colors coming out of watches and watches. One of my favorite watches uh, is um, the Pro Pilot X, the Kermit edition. Yeah, lo lovely and place. that's it's such a bright, happy color. It's such a fun watch. I feel like it's designed specifically for the purpose of spreading joy. And uh, yeah, that's one of my favorite trends coming out. And it's an interesting collaboration as well because uh, exactly, yeah. Oris has collaborated with Disney and uh, Muppets, and I mean, we don't see too many collaborations with Disney in watches, and some of them have been really iconic. And also, if you turn the watch around, I mean, you see the heart, and it, it's a it's a solid movement inside. It's a in-house movement from Oris. The color green seems to be the color of the season because the watch that really stands out to me as well has a green color dial, which is the Bell & Ross BR05 right. with a gold case and integrated bracelet and the green color dial. I think it just pops right out and green and gold we all know is a very, very, very nice combination. No, no, I love the watch and especially the fitting on the hand. I mean, if you see it, it's a very comfortable watch to wear. So, it's a lovely choice again. Talking about colors as trends, I think we uh, really can't miss the Antarctic S uh, Sushiko by Shopek. I think it's it offers a beautiful diet. It comes in two hues, which is pink and blue. And uh, I think the Sushiko dial uh, really enhances the entire timepiece in terms of you know being inspired by geometric lines and uh, you know you know the uh, tradition of japanese stitching so i think uh, that's a timepiece that's up there Man. yeah yeah another wonderfully finished piece when it comes to the dial or it you go behind and see the movement i mean it's, it's a lovely piece what about you rishab so what what trends do you see coming out of the launches this year i think reinvention of some icons has been yes. really yes that's been fun to see. flavor of the season yeah. one of my favorites here is the the new zenith pilot collection i love the way that that they've actually gone ahead of uh, how a pilot watch should look of course we all know that pilot pilot watches are usually slightly bigger and they have a big onion shaped crown what zenith has done really fascinates me because they've shrunk the case to a 40 mm but the watch or the dial is still very legible with gold R markers. The crown is also slightly smaller, but it seems very useful, very usable in certain situations. And I, of course, I love the, the black uh, ceramic. Right. And uh, yeah, I think that's one of the things that I yeah, really Don't forget the date window. Yeah. The, the date window is very legible and I, I love the date window. With Absolutely. It. I mean, I'm talking about Zenith, I mean, another timepiece, which is the Revival Shadow. One other brand I feel has, uh, you know, really invented uh, the timepieces is IWC with their, uh, you know, the Ingenuo collection. So they've really reinvented the iconic uh, Gerald Genta uh, sports steel watch. Uh, you know, they've got it in a beautiful 40mm case and with the, a very interesting grid pattern. Uh, they The watch comes in lovely colors which is black blue white and green so i think iwc has also done a great job and don't miss the titanium case and bracelet i mean yes, that's really going to make it very comfortable to wear on the wrist yeah, of course. Of course. talking about reinvention which is definitely one of the major themes and trends of this year um, I can't get over the new tag Carrera chronograph and the curved uh, crystal, it's beautiful. They've reinvented uh, the iconic Carrera. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's uh, 60 years of legacy and I absolutely love what they've done with it. The curved crystal gives an incredible depth and uh, view of the dial. And the other thing that I noticed is that it also uh, is a unique way of displaying the tachymeter inside. Yeah which is uh, very, very interesting. I love the watch. 
No, I love it. If you see the watch from the side, you see the depth in the dial because of the curved crystal. It's it's really beautiful, and, and I'm I think so hoping too. to get one on my hand soon and see it. I mean, it's, yes, it's, it's, and in fact, um, the new 39 mm size. I mean, I could wear it too. Yeah, yeah, and, and wonderful about size. Wearing yeah. this watch. Two other watches which I would like to mention is the 40 mm Radio Mir. I mean, they've they've. Panerai has not done a lot with Radio Mir recently, and the sizes have been large. But the 40 mm looks really wearable, and and I like the gold watch that they have in, in that. That's uh, so true. And you know, we recently did an event for Panerai in India, and there were oh, really? so many women there. And you know, I feel like the size, the reduction, and the dial size. Is going to be uh, a great success with women all over. I agree with you. Yeah. And also the Hublot Classic uh, Big Bang that they have come up with. I mean, that, yes. and that's again an iconic watch, and it, it's a beautiful pure dial and lovely to wear watch. Talking about uh, Panerai, I'd like to pick up from there. The California dial in itself yeah. is such a beautiful thing. It's a classic. And. Adding that green effect on the dial with the green and the green, green yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And another interesting thing about that watch is the the finish on the on the case. Usually, you'd see like a very well finished brushed finish or a very shiny polished finish, but they've made it yeah. rugged to the core. Right. It gives such strong character to the watch that it's, it, it's lovely. Bold. It's just lovely. It's, it's, it's very just lovely. Bold. And I've always loved the lugs of that watch. It just gives such nice vintage vibes. Yes. Yeah. So, guys, that was a really interesting discussion. But we'll continue this further with the with all the complicated watches that have been launched. And I'm really looking forward to that discussion because there have been some really good launches in watches and wonders this year. That's going to be interesting. Well, things are going to get really complicated tomorrow. A lot of complicated watches. Some we understand, some we don't. <laughs> yeah, I have my favorites ready, so I hope you guys too. So guys stay tuned for tomorrow let's see the complicated watches that have been launched in watches and wonders